Hi. So I've just been in the town, in the city centre, and I'm going to see what it's like to travel out of the city centre at night when it's cold. It's minus one just now, and I'm going to see what it's like to travel first north, then I'll go west. First up, I'm going to head up the north on the Cars Cube Road and the cycle path there. Quite busy just now, so that's good. And lots of the delivery riders will be using this. That's what you'll see the most of. Well, so far it feels good. It is quarter to nine. On a it's like 208 people have went in this direction day. It's pretty good for this time of year. I'm seeing grit on the cycle path. You can see the frost on the top there. This is definitely my favourite um, uh, all the cycle routes out of Glasgow. It's just a pity it doesn't go far enough. It should really go all the way on to Maryhill Road and up Maryhill Road. Even though it's just at the one side like this, that would be perfect. But so far it feels good. So I'll just go as far as it goes. Just to near enough the end of Gas Cube Road. And I'll turn back, head into town and then head out west from there. Definitely cycling into the window now. That's a chill. Stopped here because there's something I forgot to do. And that's switch my lights on. There we go. That's when you hit somebody and you say didn't have any lights on. I'm lit up like a Christmas tree. And at these junctions where the cycle lane crosses the road, there's a um, bicycle detector. Apparently that's the first of its kind in the UK. Today, 289 cyclists have went this direction. Now I'm on Sucky Hall Street. This would be my favourite, but it doesn't really go very far. But I just showed you, this used to be four lanes of traffic. It's not needed. Plenty of people use this, but it's still to have connections added to it. Because when it gets down to the lights here and round the corner, it just stops. There will be connections added to it, but there's nothing just now. It does cater for cyclists but it's not ideal.
that's as good as if closed this road and opened it to people to walk and cycle. What a difference. And the main problem with cycling on this road tonight, of all nights, is the critters don't get down here, so it is icy, so I'm being extra careful. Easily the best road in Glasgow, tree-lined, and now closed to traffic. Hey, right, that's half nine. I can only, I really need to start heading home, so... Best way to go from here... Is I'm gonna... Go back the West City way. But to get onto that... I'm gonna go along a Gale Street here. surface is terrible there we go so this is the west city way Okay, but I'm not feeling too secure using it at this time of night. I think I'd feel safer just going underneath the M8 at the traffic lights instead of going over the footbridge but I'm going to go over the footbridge today there it's there being extra careful because it will be icy but it has been gritted 47 people today eastbound 73 Westbound. It's good that these are counting in both directions, but that just shows you how little this gets used. And I'm guessing this bit I'm on just now is what puts people off because we've got to put in a shift. And once you're on the bridge here, you're pretty much trapped. If you're a vulnerable person, The escape route, we've just got to turn back. Easier said than done. Excuse me. Ten seconds less than that. The good thing about this route is, it is quick, and it takes you directly in to the city centre. 